The focus for the women's game last weekend was on training and development. Scotland under-20 women held their first training camp of the season with new coaches Ross Miller and Dean Kelbrick. The senior women's team held a two-day camp, culminating in a match against Combined Services, where they ran out 88-20 winners. And Scotland women head coach Shade Munro, with the addition of Peter Jurisovic to his backroom team, led a workshop for club coaches. Um, is working with the women's teams, is, is that new for you or have you done that before? It's um, new for me in the sense of this is the first time I've coached women's teams this season. I've been working with Hills this season, so it was new at the start of the year. Um, working with the under-20 women obviously is new for me as well. Didn't have much knowledge of it going into it, but from today, from what I've seen, it's, it should be pretty good anyway. Is it different coaching women to men? I've, I've found that in the last few months with um, the club and with, with this group here as well and that the women seem a lot more enthusiastic to learn and to listen to what you're saying and put that into action. Um, sometimes with the guys you have to speak until you're blue in the face before they do what you want. <laughs> but um, the girls seem really, really keen to learn and to pick things up as quickly as they can. That was our, our first training camp. Right. Um, we've invited various girls from across Scotland to come in and train with us today. Um, some that have played for Scotland before, um, and some that haven't, so it's a kind of a variance in skill level, but good to get a good group together. Uh, and they all performed well today, so uh, it's a good start. So what happens now? Uh, we have five weeks until we come back for our next camp, and the girls have been issued with uh, programmes to work on within their clubs or schools, which they return to. They'll come back in five weeks. And uh, what attracted you to sort of take on the role? Yeah, I suppose I really enjoyed being involved in the Sevens role last season, working with uh, Scott Forrest, the head coach. Uh, had a bit of success, so um, which was good. So I really wanted to sort of get involved with the 15s this year, and um, obviously with Shade involved as well. It's uh, yeah, hopefully we've got a strong coaching team um, to lead on to some success for the women's team over the season. Uh, the girls um, take on information very well. They develop very quickly, which is good to see. So we might come um, for a two-day camp and we see the improvement over the, the two days which is which is really good so um, the credit to the girls that take on the information and and want to learn so it's uh, yeah it's good it's good to work with the girls and this weekend has been a, a two-day camp uh, culminating in this match um, how do you feel the girls have progressed very well yeah so um, like I said everything we've we've sort of um, given across they've uh, taken the information on well and you know it's a chance to see the the girls in a game environment, a um, bit of a challenge, put under a bit of pressure, but it's, uh, it's just seeing how they how they adapt and how they perform, and it's a good chance for them to sort of put a put a marker forward for selection for future camps and for the Six Nations um, coming up at the start of next year. And I think this is camp number three. It's, uh, it's been an, an excellent weekend. This has been our first game against uh, opposition that we don't know. Uh, first chance to try a few things. We've been building on quite a lot of things over the last couple of camps. Certainly attack and defence um, has been the main priority without set piece and uh, uh, kick-offs and all the various things that could be added in. We've got three coaches now in terms of Graham, myself and PJ have all been announced. Excellent coaches. Uh, I think you can see the benefits of that today. Uh, we played against a, a good team, uh, not a team we can't beat though. And we, but the good thing for us is we were extremely clinical throughout the game. We kept the tempo up throughout the game and uh, we managed to get 28 players a chance to, to show what they could do for moving forward for further selection. So overall it was an excellent camp.